Hi everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra. Today, we're at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale. I'm hanging out at 338 Club, kind of all by myself today. And I just want to run a couple drills on the X10 and see what that live fire looks at. So today, I'm going to run a timed benchmark and see what the scores turn into as far as scores on a V8. Thrown targets are lightweight, weatherproof, take thousands of rounds of shooting and make shooting fun. Pick up a set for your next range trip. One of the cool parts of the X10 is you can see the difference between your live fire and dry fire results. And of course, a benchmark is one of the best ways that we can do that. Most people see a little bit of degradation in their benchmark at, you know, when you go to live fire because they tend to, you know, pre-ignition push or sometimes over grip a little bit because they know that they're going to have recoil this time. Uh, but an interesting one that we don't see a lot is multiple shots. The benchmark itself simply shows single shot. How still can I keep the muzzle? The gun goes off and then I reset and kind of start over no matter what. But the timed benchmark is five shots as fast as you can maintain your sight. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna start this at five yards and I'm gonna to try to get five 10 ring hits. Five 10 ring hits on a B8 target out there at five yards. And then I wanna see what does my actual, you know, what, what does my X10 say to me in terms of what kind of accuracy am I getting and how does that translate out onto the target? Put our X10 on the rail. Shooter's ready. Okay. Oh, let's, just gonna put that down on the bench. Now, let's look and see, cause we had, uh, if you see here, man, this is interesting stuff. I'm just gonna show you, I'm recording it. Shot one about an 83 at 0.27 seconds. And then I'm shooting 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 split. But you can see that that fourth one, 17.2, as far as that goes. Now let's see what we had. I think I had, I think it was my second shot that actually healed just close to high. So you see here, I got five hits all here in the 10 ring. Uh, this one close, it's a, it's a grease ring break as well. So that's a 10. So I'm okay with that. Is it perfect? No, but that's interesting because again, at a 55 or a 53.3 average, at around a half second splits, I can do that. Let's see if I could speed that up a little bit and keep it up. All right, let's try it again. Here we go. Okay, now that was a 197. I think I did actually push one shot a little bit high there. We're about to look. So you see, very low scores, but there's a reason for that, right? So I definitely did have this one go high. So I had one shot go up into the nine ring. But you can see still pretty good shooting here. Not, you know, one nine ring and then a bunch of 10 rings. But what I want you to notice is, is the way that I'm getting the speed out of here is I'm actually shooting with a little bit of anticipation in my sights. So 0 0.29, 0 0.45453939. So my splits ran a little bit faster. And the way that I was doing that was, is I was watching and painting. Now that one there, I anticipated a little bit. I, I let it fly a little bit soon. But what this is showing me at this distance is that I'm running the sights as they're moving. And so my actual, you know, my score on the benchmark is not going to be great. That's okay. And it's even good because what that's telling me is that my muzzle is moving like I want it to, and I'm not waiting for it to settle. Now, when we send it out to 10 yards, we'll probably want to see a little more settle to try to get that same kind of accuracy. Here at 10 yards, if I want to maintain 10 rings, I'm going to have to take a little bit more care. So you're going to see a little bit more muzzle stillness. Let's take a look. Okay, so I actually threw an eight ring there. And just threw one. Now, if you, as you see here, 86, 22, 31, 1 1.2, and then 28.5. But you see, I got them 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5. Now, if we look at our hits, 10, 10, 10, 10. And then I did throw an eight with a little bit of, of high there. Why? Again, I anticipated it. My guess is, is I'll have to look on the video. My guess is that was shot number four, that again, I was just moving a little bit too much. Let's try it again, see what we get out of this on the next one. Okay, did throw a nine ring there. So again, 92 on the first one, so nice and still to 0 0.32. 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 50s and 60s all the way through. Now there's the interesting part, four across the 10 ring through one down a little bit low. Um, I would guess that was probably one of the 50s. So, uh, you know, uh, is this good shooting? It's okay, it's not bad. It, it, it's, 
you know, I know people are going to give me crap about that one and about this little nine ring. Hey, go ahead. That's how the internet works. Um, but what I want you to notice is, is that when I need a precise shot, this is a very different story. So let's send it out to 15 yards, see what we get out there. When we are going into a, a speed shooting that I want to go as quickly as I can, though, I'm going to give up stillness for timing. Okay, now 15 yards, I'm going to really try to keep it, you know, nine ring and in. I'm going to try to get all blacks if I can, all, all in the black ring, uh, and that's what really my goal is. Okay, so that's about a... 69.8 is my average, 2.83 seconds. And you can see 40, 70, 50, 70. So you see I had to bring my accuracy, my, my stillness up a little bit, 0.63665763. And what you see by that did get one eight ring hit, um, you know, kind of borderline there. Might even give myself a grease ring, not positive, but got four good ones on that. So what are we learning here? How much muzzle stillness do I really need to get an acceptable level of hits at my current level of skill? in the amount of time that I want. Well, if you notice, my time is only creeping up kind of marginally, right? Just barely creeping up. But when you, and I think you should, I think it's a good tool for this. I don't want you to get so focused when you're a very beginning shooter. I want you to focus on keeping the muzzle still, make sure that your sights are on the target and do that very, very carefully. But as you gain a little bit more experience, what you're starting to do is you're starting to shoot the gun on the move, which makes things like the recoil meter, and, and the transition timer and those things, a very important skill. Now, what do you do with this if you don't have an X10, which some people don't and that's okay, right? I mean, they're, they're our longest serving sponsor and I love the product and I really recommend it. But what do you do if you don't have one of those? Well, then you're doing the same drill, you just don't get the immediate feedback. Use a shot timer, something like a, a range tech or something like that, time your shots. And then again, how much, what kind of splits can I get to get these kind of hits at this distance, at that distance, what kind of splits can I get, which will translate into how much stillness do I need in my muzzle to get a hit. Hope that helps you. Go out to the range and shoot this and let me know how you do, okay?